toxoplasma they say that the definitive host are cat and other feline animals. The intermediate host of course, is man it exists in three morphological form it has tachyzoids which are usually found in, in blood it has tissue cyst <coughs> it exists as a, a, a tissue cyst uh, uh, containing many small small bradyzoids a uh, tissue cyst is uh, composed of bradyzoids inside and this is usually seen in tissues organs and muscles third is oocyst oocyst is seen in cats feces so three morphological forms are there <coughs> and if they ask you which is the infective form answer is it is the only parasite where all the morphological forms are infective but if they ask you which is the commonest most common infective form then the most common infective form is related to most common mode of transmission the most common mode of transmission is contaminated food and water contaminated food and water with cats feces that means which is the infective form oocyst second is ingestion of viscera uh, containing tissue cyst ok of course cat we do not eat but uh, but there are so many other feline animal which may uh, may be uh, they can be eaten so viscera containing tissue cyst next is blood transfusion or vertical transmission where tachyzoids are the infective form <coughs> okay clear regarding the clinical manifestation congenital Toxoplasma is one of the torch agents. What is torch? T for toxo, rubella, cytomegalovirus, H for herpes, O for like others like yesterday we have discussed varicella zoster virus, parvovirus, and congenital syphilis all this will come under other other category so coming to congenital toxoplasmosis you say that a transmission is maximum during delivery whereas severity is maximum in first trimester okay and to, uh, during the, uh, during uh, uh, delivery or third trimester you can remember third trimester the tr transmission is uh, relatively maximum the most common form of congenital most common symptom most common manifestation of congenital uh, toxoplasmosis is chorioretinitis chorioretinitis and as i told you earlier if the mother is having primary infection then the risk is more or less more maximum risk if the mother is having primary infection congenital uh, toxoplasmosis is identified by diagnosis is by <coughs> having uh, detection of ig m antibody or ig a antibody in fetus you say that iga antibody is more sensitive indicator than igm more sensitive indicator than igm 
other than that of course toxoplasma antigen can be detected or you can go for a pcr uh, detecting gene in amniotic fluid pcr detecting gene in amniotic fluid <coughs> Okay, so this is about congenital uh, toxoplasmosis. Then adult, adult most of them are asymptomatic, and among system, among the symptoms, the most common manifestation is cervical lymphadenopathy. Cervical lymphadenopathy. HIV infected individual. They say that the association is. Around 15 to 40 percent association. 15 to 40 percent of HIV individuals are co-infected with toxoplasma. Most common manifestation in HIV individual is encephalitis. Affecting most common site is brainstem, and the CD4 count falls below 100. Uh, this is the most important risk factor. Okay. So, this is about a toxoplasmosis in HIV individuals. Di lab diagnosis, lab diagnosis they say that if you do a peripheral blood microscopy, then you may get tachyzoids. If you do tissue section, microscopy then you will get tissue cyst uh, containing which is more important which indicates active infection which indicate dormant tacky and brady what is the difference tacky is active brady is dormant so tacky joint a presence is more important than tissue cyst Okay. So, this is about microscopy, then antibody detection, they say that Sabine Feldman test is a gold standard method, it is a gold standard method of diagnosis Sabine Feldman test. Other than that you have various uh, antibody detection tests like ELISA immunofluorescent assay etcetera. Okay. Then of course, PCR can be done to detect the specific genes. Treatment <coughs> co tamoxifen they say that in immunocompetent no treatment is required pregnancy spiramycin is the drug of choice HIV infected individual cotrimoxazole is given is given for prophylaxis it is started when the CD4 count falls below 100 discontinued if the CD4 count rises more than 200 and secondary prophylaxis again you have to start if the CD4 count falls below 200 this is the guideline you have to follow CD4 count I mean the primary prophylaxis starts below 100 discontinued above 200 when it falls below 200 again secondary prophylaxis start <coughs> this is about 